Hi, welcome to Over the Hill Homesteaders. Actually, I'm not at the homestead today. I'm in John's room, and uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update. We had a busy week, and I had a lot to do, and, and we made progress this week, and so I thought it'd be a good idea just to uh, give you a time to see what's going on in our lives right now. Here we are on our way to the doctor. We have a doctor visit this morning in Branson. And John is doing his bicycling. Actually, the machine's doing that. But this is his very first day, so we are excited about this. He's going backwards, and then he'll turn around and go forwards in a few more minutes. Awesome. So you can see we had a busy week. Um, what we were pushing for at the beginning of the week was to um, get John stabilized so we could get him to the doctor's office. He, his neck was a little wobbly, but he did really well. Uh, at the beginning of the week, we were um, taking him outside and uh, uh, taking him around the courtyard. Uh, you could see that, and, and he was doing pretty well. And he did very well on the doctor's visit. I was a little bit nervous because that doctor, um, when we were in the hospital, he didn't give us some very good news. And I, I really didn't know what to expect when we went back for the visit, but it worked out really well. The doctor said, everything is going well. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, it was a great visit. So, uh, that worked out wonderfully. And then um, I had to deal with some issues at the facility, which I really wasn't looking forward to doing, but had to be done. I am John's advocate, and I am the I'm his voice right now. So uh, I had to deal with um, some of the administration and uh, but we got through that also, and there was breakthrough. And we were excited about that uh, because I had just been hitting resistance, resistance, and um, with everything. And so um, I, I believe that's completely over, done with, and uh, we're we're just moving on. So what I'm doing with John is I wanted to explain. Um, I have a regiment going on that is an amazing uh, thing that. Oh, his brother Mark uh, found out about and what we're doing is we're just blasting his brain with omega-3 fatty acids uh, with fish oil and I'm putting in some uh, B12 complex for his neurotransmitters um, I'm putting in his CBD oil which he's been taking for over a year now and a little bit of D3 so uh, and this all has to go through his feeding tube because um, he can't uh, ingest anything quite yet. But uh, it, it's working, and the doctor said, keep it up. You're doing good. The doctor, his doctor at the facility is saying, hey, keep it up. You're doing good. So we're expecting uh, some, just some wonderful things uh, to happen with John because of this. We've uh, seen testimony where there have been uh, people with severe brain damage and they're coming through it. Uh, one of the testimonies is the fellow, uh, the neurologist started just bombing his brain with these uh, omega-3s and he walked out of the hospital in two weeks. 
So why not? You know, <laughs> so we're, we're, um, we're doing that and, um, we're doing, uh, other types of natural, uh, procedures for John. I'm doing the, um, magnetic pulser on his brain, uh, just to help things just push through and, and for his brain to be able to, um, get back to normal. It's of course going to get back to normal, but you know, I just want that push. I just want it to do now. <laughs> and they keep saying this is going to be a long, long procedure that we're going to have to go through. But why? You know, why not? We live in the supernatural. Why not? God can do anything. And I know that God has completely healed John. We're just um, watching the manifestation of that day by day. He's able to um, move his right arm. He's able to move his left arm. He can uh, uh, communicate through his voice. Sometimes I don't understand him, but he's communicating. And um, we're seeing daily uh, wonderful things taking place. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for um, your notes and your uh, texts and uh, everything on Facebook. We're just so blessed by it. And uh, we just continue on. You know, it's, it's, John has taken care of me for 49 years now. And now it's my turn to take care of him. I am his advocate. I am his lifeline. Um, I am his communication, his line of communication. And so um, I'm learning with this. I, I'm learning how to deal with things like that because he's always taking care of me. But now it's my time to take care of him and I'm enjoying it. Um, things get a little hectic right now with um, going to work. I work four days a week and I'm off three days, which is real nice. So I get to be with John those three days. Uh, but I'm always on the run. This right here, sitting in front of the fire, it is an amazing, this is so wonderful for me. I, I don't get to do this ever. Um, I'm always on the run, uh, either on my way home, on my way to work, on my way to see John, grabbing something to eat. Um, I'm eating crummy right now, but doggone it, <laughs> I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. And I'm moving into a schedule, which is really nice. Um, I, I have found a little niche of a schedule and it's working for me. And I'm getting really good night's sleep. So that's good. The homestead, well, here at the homestead, um, the boys are taking care of it for me. Blanco and Bug are, are just being good watchdogs and, and helping me to take care of things. Sometimes I come home and there's a little chewed up piece of wood by the fireplace, but oh well, you know, Bug has to feel like he's the to-do dog. So anyway, it's been nice chit-chatting with you by the fireplace. I've enjoyed it, and I um, I look forward to next week. We are just moving along every day. Something good is happening with John. We're seeing improvement every single day. We're seeing breakthrough, um, and we're just so thankful for all the prayers that are going up because that's what we're writing on right now. And we do have God's favor. We are walking under the umbrella of his blessing right now in this season. And uh, we're blessed because of that. Well, thanks for coming along to the homestead. We'll uh, be talking to you next week. I'm not sure what's going to be going on, but we'll get there and we'll um, report what's going on. So... Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.